Hi everyone and uh, welcome back uh, to the Floss Marketing School. In this video, we are going to see how you can deploy the Matomo SDK on an iOS app. So I'm using for this uh, many things. First of all, I'm using a Mac. Uh, okay, so I did not use an emulator in order to be able to show you this video, but I really use the uh, Mac. I'm using the Matomo SDK iOS uh, documentation, which is well done when you can uh, read it properly. I'm using as well uh, this following tutorial explaining how you can create a basic counter app and uh, that, that's it. So uh, what I will do is I will start uh, the, the tutorial. So uh, first of all, what you need to have, and this is clearly well explained over here in the, um, in the documentation, is that you need to have a Cocoa, Cocoa Pods installed. So I already installed it, so I don't need uh, to install it back. But if you don't have it, well, you need to install it. So you need to do a sudo gem install Cocoa Pods, and then it will be installed on um, on your Mac. Then the next step is about uh, creating a pod file. But for this, uh, you need uh, either to have already a pod file uh, running somewhere or to have uh, um, already a project running. I mean, it's a not an or it's an end. Uh, so in my case, I'm going to go within Xcode and I'm going to create a new project. So uh, new and it's going to be a new project. So click over here, new project. I'm going to create an app which is called Simple Counter OBS. So single view app. In my case, I'm taking this one. Uh, okay, uh, Simple Counter OBS. Okay, that's. That's the name of my app and I click on next. Okay. Okay. So now I have my app, which is uh, created. Next step is about having this um, pod file um, added. So in my case, I already have some, so I'm just going to copy and paste the Cocoa pod file that I did somewhere else. So in my case, I'm just going to go on uh, simple counter and on simple counter I'm over here I'm gonna uh, copy this given file which is called pad file and uh, I'm gonna go and paste it within this given folder which doesn't have a pod file okay so um, how did I create this pod file the first time well in fact I went within the terminal I went on the desktop on the desktop I access to my simple counter obs folder and uh, here if i do a cat uh, pod file so in fact in order to create my pod file what i did is i just did a, a touch and then i write pod file because your pod file need to be named pod file and then here is what i insert within it so in any cases i need to in my case nano pod file and we need to edit it and this is what my file looks like, okay? So I get uh, the platform for which I will develop it, which is uh, iOS uh, 12. Uh, then I'm saying um, for which app do I want uh, Cocoa Pods to, uh, to be applied to? So in my case, it's Simple Counter OBS. So I need to change that out. I need to add OBS. OBS and uh, pod matmo tracker 7.2 which is what they are telling you within the documentation so now i can just save my file okay and i can exit it and now i can even test it and as you can see it's on the right name okay great so that was uh, for the pod file so simple counter obs okay all good here so I got my pod file um, and now I need in fact to run pod install within the project in order for uh, Cocoa Pods to install the uh, Matomo tracker everywhere on the app. So just to let you know that the pod file should not only include this given line but should include more. This is what I just uh, showed you previously. If not, you will run this and they are going to ask you for a target. So uh, next step is about uh, running pod install. So in order to run pod install, I just need to access back to my folder. So this is my folder and oops, sorry. Uh, so it's CD simple counter OBS. 
and within this uh, given folder I need to run pod install so I'm running pod install now I have to run pod install blah 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 and now they are telling you uh, an interesting message they are telling you okay now please just use the simple counter obs uh, xe workspace uh, next time you will try to use a matomo tracker so now i know that i need to access to simple counter obs and we will sim I get uh, the workspace so this is the file i will now have to work with okay so uh, the project is going to be uh, open soon so here i got my pod file and here i get my uh, project so it's currently processing the different data okay next part so here in the documentation as i'm telling you that every time now that you want to use the tracker matomo you need to call uh, import matomo tracker in order uh, to run uh, the the tracker and to link it to the app um, here it's an alternate method that they're giving you that I'm not using, which is by using Cartage. In my case, I'm using CocoaPod, so no need to use Cartage. Okay, next step, uh, they are asking you to define the instance. So the instance, so to say, is the location where you would like to send the data to. So I'm just going to copy this part. Now I enter within my app, which is uh, the following one. So I get get my app mm -hmm. okay uh, sorry for that that's not the display I used to used to see uh, so simple counter stop the task okay create it okay simple counter OBS And okay, and now I get uh, the display I'm more familiar with. Okay, and um. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use this uh, given part of the app. So my app is currently blank. Um, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create uh, the import tracker. So I'm going to put it here. Okay. Oops. Um, no, I'm not going to put that here. That's not what I wanted. I'm going to import uh, the Matomo tracker. So import Matomo tracker. Okay. Um, then what I'm going to do, so this is my, my app, I can probably show you what it looks like, it's just a hello world thing. Okay, that's the app, uh -huh. so now I imported the Matomo tracker and now I'm going to add uh, the part I was telling you about before which is uh, the counterpart because I just don't want to have like a, like a blank app like this I really would like to push interaction to Matomo so that's why I'm gonna uh, change that out and in order to change this oops I'm just gonna go back uh, over here I'm gonna just copy and paste my old my old code which is the following one okay so I'm just gonna take this part Oops. Okay, so I'm going to remove these parts out. I'm going to change it by this one. And I'm going to remove this one because we don't need it. We don't need it yet. Okay. So, so far my app looks like as follow okay i have an app for which every time that i click on the on the button it's incrementing by one uh, the following figure that you can see here 
Um, what I may be interested in to measure with Matomo is the number of times that someone's going to push this given button. So in order to do so, uh, what I need to do is that I need first to install on my, on my app uh, the location where the data will be recorded. And this location is the one uh, that you can find over here, which is the one defining the instance. So I just need to copy this line of code and just need to put it here, okay? Uh, here you need to, insert, to explain what is your ID. So in my case, the 29, and then the location where you would like to send the data to. So in my case, it's the Matomo cloud, matomo.cloud. And then here the tracker is matomo.cloud. PHP. So to say, it's um, it's this given website. Okay, you see that's that's my instance, and then the ID uh, which corresponds to this given website is the twenty nine. Okay, so this is where I will send the data to. But now I need to define what kind of action I would like to measure, and in my case, I would like to measure an event. So this is what you can find when you go down, and here you see in fact the list of uh, the different tracker that you can call. In my case, well, it takes just more sense if it's an event uh, rather than, uh, let's say, a page view. So I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to paste it like this. Here I can change the uh, value. So here I'm going to put a one. And here, oops. Um, here I'm going to put like a button and uh, here is just uh, add one and uh, here it's pushed. Okay, so here you can put whatever you want. As you can see, uh, seems like I have an error. Uh, let's see. Reference matter in plus re requires explicit self to make capture semantic explicit insert self. Um, well, I can click on fix and let's see how it, looks, what it will look like. Um, okay, so far it seems that there is no mistake. So we are gonna, um, yeah, we're gonna load it back. Okay. So I get my app. So let's wait a little bit. Okay, maybe a bit too long. I'm just gonna like try with something else. So, okay, let's just stop and let's relaunch it. So here I'm testing it with the iPhone 11. And let's see how it goes with the iPhone 8. Okay, so I don't have the feeling that there are any mistakes. Uh, let's now see within a, a Matomo what it looks like. So I'm just gonna refresh this given page. I can just click here. Okay, um, so here. Okay, seems it's not working at all so far. Um, so maybe I just need to wait a little bit or maybe I can remove the self over here because in my previous version I made, I didn't have it. It was working fine. Um, so let's just uh, let's just see if within the other app I got it. Um, so Matomo Tracker and oops, let's, let's look at Simple Counter. 
Yeah, as you can see, I didn't have it in the previous version. It was working fine. So let's just see by taking these parts out. Okay, and let's double check. Okay, so as you can see, it was working. It's just that there is um, a delay and uh, this delay is in fact due because the push is made every 30 seconds from what I have seen within the documentation so that's the reason why it was not pushed but here we got in fact the two iPhone uh, so iPhone 8 probably here and iPhone uh, 11 uh, which was here and the data are uh, properly sent uh, to Matomo so as you can see uh, it's nothing very difficult I mean compared to Android it's a bit faster so you just need to define so you need to have cocoa pods then you need to uh, have your instance ring then you need to choose the tracker and um, and it should work in fact the main difficult part is really to have a mac and uh, to have let's say the dependency made about uh, cocoa pods and, and finding out all those little uh, red messages that you are seeing the first time and that you learn to get fixed that's it uh, for today. Hope uh, you enjoyed this video. It will help you understand how the Matmo tracker is working when it deals with iOS. Thanks for watching.